All right, guys, there's your help video for your um, integral review for this week, the week of, where do we start off on the 28th? All right, so number one, um, I think you guys can handle it. I don't think you need any suggestions there. Number two, I think you could probably use a little bit of help. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do there, if you want to integrate this, um, uh, you, you might have been tempted to maybe try some u substitution or something, but I I wouldn't. Um, you don't usually want to do what I'm about ready to do, but in this case, I, I don't see a better way to really end up going about it. Um, what I would do is I would just actually multiply this thing out. So x minus 1 over 2x squared. I mean, you just multiply it by itself, right? So we have x squared. We multiply here, we end up with a half. Multiply here, we end up with another half. And if we multiply here, we end up with plus 1 over 4x squared. Um, and so what I would do is I would start by rewriting this as x squared minus 1. That's what you would get if you combine those two halves together plus one-fourth x squared. Um, and then from there, I would go ahead and do the integration just piece by piece um, and see how that turns out for you. Most of these problems are pretty straightforward, exactly the kind of stuff we covered in class when we did integrals. Number three is a basic u sub. Number four is a basic u sub. Number five is a u sub. Um, a little bit of a a little bit of a trick involved there. On, on number five, what I would do is I would say, okay, u is equal to 2y minus 3y squared. The reason I would do that is because when we take the derivative of u with respect to y, we end up with 2 minus 6y. And why do I think that's significant? Well, because I can do a little bit of math in my head here. I want to show you guys something. Um, <clears throat> so the top is 1 minus 3y, right? The bottom now is going to be the square root of u. Now dy is du over 2 minus 6. But you'll notice that if you just take out a 2 out of that pair, if you divide both those by 2 and factor that out, there it goes. Okay? I'll let you guys handle that one. From that point on, um, let's look at the second part. Okay, on number six, we're looking at a basic u sub problem again. So I think I'll just let you guys go ahead and handle that. And number seven is yet another basic u sub problem. Um, let's compare, let's take a look at, let's see. Yeah, number eight, that's another basic u sub problem. In that case, your, your denominator, 2t squared minus 1 would be the u. Um, this one is another u sub, number 9. Um, on this one, you're going to let u equal 3x, okay? Other than that, I'll let you guys take the reins. Uh, the last thing I'll talk about for this helpful hint video is to compare and contrast numbers 10 and 11. Notice number 10 and 11, they look almost identical, but there is a difference. On number 10, there's an x in the numerator, and number 11, there's not. Now, on number 10, since there's an x in the numerator, we're going to do a u sub. And when you do your derivative of u with respect to x, we get 8x. And so when we end up rewriting this, first of all, we talked about that dx being there. We don't really like that. Right, we always like to put it over here on the side, but um, the bottom is going to be u now, and now my dx is going to get replaced with du over 8x, and as you can see, the x's go away. Now on number 11, that's not going to work, because you're going to have an x on the bottom, right? But there's no x to cancel it with on the top. The reason for that is because it's not the same kind of problem. We talked about this back in unit 2 where when this power is one less than this power, then you just do basically a u sub. But in this case, what this one is is an arc tangent problem. Okay? This is one of those problems where you would want to start by 
where you're writing this is 2x in parentheses squared. And use the arc tangent rule. Okay, so I'll let you guys go ahead and uh, finish that up, and we'll have it due on Monday.